try this again. Hi, I'm Shelly and I'm from the Humane Society of Charlotte. The Humane Society of Charlotte is more than just an animal shelter. We are a community resource center working to keep people and pets together, safe, and happy. And I'm here to talk to you today about something you've probably heard about before, bullying. But have you ever talked about bullying with a dog? No? Well, dogs have a lot to teach us about how to stop bullying. I've brought a few friends with me here today to help us talk through bullying. So this is Cookie, and this is Franklin, and this is Finby. Together, we're going to talk about some core values that we all need to practice. But first, what is bullying? Well, bullying is mean and hurtful words or actions that are repeated by a person. But first, what is bullying? Bullying is mean and hurtful words or actions that are repeated by a person because they think it makes them look or feel more powerful. It's important to know that bullying is an action. And what this means is, is that it's a choice and that we can stop it if we practice the core values that we're gonna learn about and inspire others to practice those same core values too. So. Today, we're gonna to talk about the core value, responsibility. Responsibility is doing what you're supposed to do, whether you feel like it or not. It's our responsibility to care for animals. They depend on us to take care of them. Have you heard of the five animal freedoms? Well, the five animal freedoms are really important and they are well known in the world of animal welfare. It's our responsibility as humans to make sure that animals have their five, anim their five freedoms. So what are these five freedoms? Let's take a look at them. The first is freedom from hunger and thirst. So this means it's important that animals have adequate access to water and food and nutrition every single day. The second freedom is freedom from discomfort. Now, what do you think this might mean? Discomfort. This is, means it's our job as humans to make sure animals have adequate shelter and a place to be comfortable in the same way that you would want a roof over your head. The third freedom is freedom from pain, injury, or disease. This means it's our responsibility as humans to take care of animals when they need medical attention. So for example, if Cookie were to break her leg, it's my responsibility to take her to the doctor or to the vet. <laughs> the fourth freedom is freedom to express normal behavior. So dogs have different behaviors than humans, right? So it's important that they're allowed to express their normal behavior because it's really important for their mental health. And the last freedom, the fifth freedom is freedom from fear and distress. This means it's our job as humans to make sure that they don't live in a fearful environment, that they're not living in an overcrowded situation, and that they have access to mental stimulation like enrichment items and toys every single day. So now that you know all about the five freedoms for animals, you're ready to start working in your journal with Fenby. So grab your journal and turn to page one. Have fun and I'll see you next time when we talk about our next core value. Okay, we're gonna do take two. Would you sit in my lap for this? I think that would be way cuter. Oh my goodness, look at my nugget. That's a good girl. Hold on, no, 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 can you just sit with me? Hi, I'm Shelly and I'm from the Humane Society of Charlotte. 
The Humane Society of Charlotte is more than just an animal shelter. We are a community resource center working to keep people and pets together, safe, and happy. And I'm here today to talk to you about something you've probably heard about before, bullying. But have you ever talked about bullying with a dog? No? Well, dogs have a lot to teach us about how to stop bullying. And I've brought a few friends with me today to help us talk about it. So this is Cookie, and this is Franklin, and this is Finby. Together, we're gonna talk about some core values that we all need to practice. But first, what is bullying? Do you wanna tell us? Bullying is mean and hurtful words or actions that are repeated by a person because they think it makes them look or feel more powerful. Bullying is an action and a choice, which is important to know because it means that we can stop bullying if we practice these core values that we're gonna learn about and inspire others to practice the core values too. And today's core value that we're gonna talk about is responsibility. So responsibility is doing what you're supposed to do, whether you feel like it or not. It's our responsibility to care for animals. They depend on us to take care of them. <laughs> so, have, it's important to know, we'll cut this. Why don't you come right back here? Our responsibility to take care of animals. They depend on us to take care of them. So, have you heard of the five animal freedoms? No? Well, we're gonna learn about them today. So the five animal freedoms are five pillars in the animal welfare world that are, everyone needs to know about. And it's our responsibility as humans to make sure that animals have these five freedoms. So, what are they? Well, the first is freedom from hunger and thirst. So this would mean it's our job as humans to make sure our dogs and cats and other animals have access to fresh water and food every day, right? The second freedom is freedom from discomfort. Freedom from discomfort means that it's our job to make sure animals have a comfy bed or a safe place to lay and that they're comfortable, right? The third freedom is freedom from pain, injury, or disease. So this means it's our job to make sure that animals get adequate veterinary care if they need it when they're hurt or injured or sick. So if Cookie were to be hurt or break a leg or something, it's my job to take her to the vet, right? And the fourth freedom is the freedom to express normal behavior. So what's normal behavior look like for a dog? A little bit different than humans, right? So it's important that dogs get mental enrichment every day, that they get to exercise their brains and their minds by playing, like tug of war, or that they get to exercise their scent where they get to smell things and just be a dog and do normal dog things, right? And the fifth and last freedom is freedom from fear and distress. So what does this mean? This means it's our job to make sure that our animals live in a fear-free environment and that we are not exposing them to any kind of situation where they might be stressed out or anxious. So these are the five freedoms. Now that you know about them, you're all ready to start your journal. So I want you to grab your journal and turn to page one and start working through this first section on responsibility with Finby. Now that you know all about the five freedoms for animals, you're ready to start working in your journal with Finby. So grab your journal, turn to page one, and get started. Have fun, and I'll see you next time when we talk about our next core value.